Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. It's the day after the night that West Ham brought home a major European trophy. There's a debate about that and I'm happy for you guys to have that debate in the comments below. The fact is a European competition has been set up and it's been set up for teams that don't quite make the Champions League, don't quite make the Europa. They're just a little bit outside of that. What can I say? What can I say? I was in a pub last night with the majority of them being West Ham fans. Lots of them my friends, and um, I stuck it up on Insta actually, and I couldn't, I couldn't help but feel happy for them. I've gone on record over the years saying that you know Arsenal, I really detest Arsenal. I don't like Arsenal, but up there alongside them is West Ham, and the reason for that is because I've grown up in Essex. It's predominantly West Ham fans around here. We had some battles over the years. During the 90s, early 2000s, you'd find Tottenham and West Ham very much on par with each other in the table. I hated West Ham with a passion because, you know, you would go into school and you'd have so many people on your case because Spurs lost. And I dreaded games against West Ham in case we lost, and we often did, in the, in, in the days of John Hartson and Paul Kitson. But also, we would beat them as well, and we, we'd have some good times. So I just really detested... West Ham and I feel like my my hate for Arsenal over the years has become more prevalent because we've got closer to them and West Ham have almost sort of fallen at the wayside a little bit because we're not in direct competition with them and the thing with Tottenham everyone seems to be, want to be their rival in London you know Arsenal obviously because we're you know very very local West Ham because you know we're in the same league and we're still quite near each other but also Millwall they're not on the same level Chelsea the same because with Fulham, although Fulham did come above them this year, so maybe they can rekindle some sort of rivalry. But Chelsea hate Tottenham, Arsenal hate Tottenham, and everyone just hates Tottenham. And people love it when we lose. And it's fair to say that we've been on the big stage a few times in my lifetime, two of which I've had this unique feeling. And West Ham fans would not be able to understand what I'm about to describe. Until now, obviously. I think if you support a team that win on a regular basis, this feeling has probably faded away a little bit. Some will argue that it's still there. But you know the feeling, right? The feeling of disbelief. That's my team. And I don't even think I can compare what West Ham did last night to anything that Spurs have done in my lifetime. Now, since I was born, I was born in 85. And during that time, they won the FA Cup in 91. I was six years old. I didn't appreciate football for what it was back then. Two years later, I went to my first ever Spurs game against QPR. And in that game, we drew one all. Luckily, we scored and I got to hear the roar at White Hart Lane. I think that's what got me hooked. And I wanted to go back and I wanted to see us win. And over the years, I started going more and more and more. But I actually had to wait until 1999 for this feeling, okay? We're playing Leicester in a cup final and it could have gone either way. It really could have. But right at the death, up pops our Danish midfielder with those long blonde locks, diving in in the final moments of the game to stick us 1-0 up. And it was disbelief. And it didn't set in properly because they still had a little bit to go. Anything could have happened. But the fact is, Tottenham lifted what was then called the Worthington Cup, the League Cup. And I couldn't wait. Couldn't wait to go into school and just... Just smile. And it was that year Spurs stopped United from doing what would have been a quadruple... I think we beat United en route to winning that cup. Honestly, the feeling, because I'd never had that feeling before. We'd gone through times of watching Man United win cups constantly, win leagues constantly. And I had a couple of United friends, because obviously we live down south, and there is quite a large population of Man United fans. There is. It's true. And I would remember being like, you know, you've just won the league. And they were like, yeah. But it didn't seem to... I feel like they didn't get that feeling. And I guess this is why I like an underdog, because this feeling just leaves you so good inside. Just so good. And it's the disbelief that this is my team. We've just won this. And it might not seem much. I mean, a League Cup. It might not seem much. But the first time it happened, I wanted more. I wanted it to happen again. We had the chance to do it again, but we lost to Blackburn. And then... um. It didn't happen until 2008, and I think the feeling was there again as Jonathan Woodgate headed in the winner against Chelsea, which felt great. We won a trophy again. The closest I've been to that is the Champions League run that we had, obviously, and the semi-final against Ajax. That gave me that feeling because it was like Tottenham are in a Champions League final. The disbelief. I can't believe it. I'm so proud. Obviously, the final is 
you know, that was written off after the first minute for a handball that, you know, if we, we looked at that now, it wouldn't be classed as handball. Tottenham's track record in finals recently. I don't think we've had a shot on target in our last three finals. But I am so glad that I've had that feeling. And I feel like a lot of Spurs fans have come on board, like a, a new generation of Spurs fans have come on board. They weren't quite there when we won our last trophy, right? So they haven't had that feeling. And now we're the butt of all jokes because West Ham have now won a trophy, a major trophy. I'm, I'm, I'm... All right, I'll get involved. I do think it's a major trophy, despite only being invented a couple of years ago. And despite it being for teams that are lower down the leagues, I still think, you know, it's a European trophy. If you're going to be in a competition, go for it. Now, I don't really want to make this video all about Tottenham, but it has been so far. I do apologise. But what I'm trying to say is I really don't like West Ham. But I couldn't help, you know, sitting there with my mates last night in that pub. I weren't jumping up and down. I really wasn't. And I predicted that they'd win this. I just felt West Ham were taking this competition seriously. And you can see with league form, it was almost like a, you know, they've got to stay up. And you can see the run they've put together towards the end of the season. And it's really all come together. And David Moyes has done a fantastic job. Um, whether West Ham fans still want him to leave or not, I guess that's another conversation. And it's probably one that I won't get involved in. But the fact is that he's done such a good job in these last couple of months to really get this team together and make them you know, believe and, and, and show them that this season can still be a success, even though the league isn't on, you know, and it was never on and they were never going to have the season that they did the year before where they'd actually qualified for this competition. Everything just fell into place. Declan Rice, obviously, is going to be his last game now. I just think, you know, that was meant to be. And the way the clock just ticked over on the 90 as all these fans are just having it out and the players on the pitch and David Moyes running up and down. It was it was kind of beautiful and I couldn't help but, as I say, I couldn't help but feel happy for them. And I knew at that moment as they lifted that trophy that the disbelief among thousands of West Ham fans, the, I can't believe this is my club, we've done it. That, re that, that such nice feeling, the feeling that I watch football for and the feeling that I, you know, the, the, reason, the, the reason that I now support Tottenham because I want to get that back they were having that moment and it's just kind of a it's a really beautiful thing and I've never really looked at football that way until last night because West Ham unfortunately and I'm sure their fans will agree with me what chance have they got domestically unless they put together a real great cup run which they they could do but the top five six seven teams are just so strong now that it's unlikely so maybe this competition could be the making of West Ham because the knock-on effect of that is now Europa can they attract better players can they push on from this can they then compete in the league it's competitions like this that could really propel a team forward I'm sure there's going to be a lot of Spurs fans on my case and I had a few last night message me saying that I'm the problem with this club I'm not the problem with this club I'm just um I'm just a massive football fan and I'm a little bit older than the majority of people messaging me who are probably um choosing which Stone Island jacket to put on as they go out and taunt rival fans I watched that as a neutral last night not a rival and ultimately my friends were there and I just saw how elated they were and as I say I couldn't help but you know just be happy would I have had this feeling had Arsenal let's say gone on and won the Europa categorically no because I think they are above our level and I look at them with you know no with West Ham I feel like they're not on our level and I say that not trying to be patronizing in any way shape or form I promise you and I guess if West Ham then start to put together a run, start to challenge in the league and start to become a rival, that's when I will probably <laughs> not be happy for them to be winning anything. The fact is I have to have the utmost respect for these boys and girls that support West Ham because it's not been great, has it? Let's be honest. They've been in the league, they've been dwindling around, they've been relegated, they've come back. What have they really had? And despite all that, in, in an era where teams are going on and doing bigger and better things, buying the biggest and best players, what have West Ham actually done? Those fans can probably die happy now, you know? They've seen their club win something. And the feeling, I still don't know how to describe it, but if you're a West Ham fan, if you're a Leicester fan, if you're a Portsmouth fan, if you're a, I'm trying to think of other teams that might have just won the odd thing at one point, a Wigan fan, you know what I mean. Because for United... Chelsea, Man City now. Has their winning been a bit desensitised? Like, I've had that feeling and I've got it off the back of two League Cups. It doesn't take much. So the fact that they've won a European trophy, West Ham, fair play. 
It's a competition that Tottenham didn't take seriously. And uh, in this competition, we could have easily won as well had we taken it seriously. And it's teams like West Ham that make this competition a big deal. No team should be above a competition. If you're in a competition, you should go and win it. I think I'm just rambling on at this point. Enjoy your trophy. Enjoy your feeling. And um, yeah, that's me. And I'll be back very soon. Do let me know if you enjoy these sort of like quick reactions, quick chats. And I'll try and get some more done on the channel as we go. But um, yeah, that's me. I'll catch you in the next one.